stakeholders in the country's petroleum industry appeared before the Senate's ad hoc committee investigating allegations of economic sabotage within the sector. The investigation was prompted by significant concerns over irregularities and inefficiencies plaguing the sector, particularly regarding the importation of hazardous and substandard petroleum products. Our correspondent, Sam Raffle, has details. Setting the tone for the interaction, Leader of the Senate and Chairman of the Ad Hoc Committee, Senator Okbayemi Bamidele, said the committee aims to uncover lapses in the importation and distribution processes, as well as hold all parties involved, including suppliers, importers, and regulatory bodies accountable. Distinguished stakeholders, it is imperative that we all approach this process with integrity and cooperation. There will be no room for grandstanding. And I want to make it crystal clear that no one will be exempted from scrutiny. Our collective goal is to serve the overriding public interest, and it is essential that each stakeholder actively contributes towards this noble cause. In separate remarks, Minister of Finance, Mewale Edung, disclosed that the country has not been able to meet the estimated 1.78 million barrels per day expectation, while Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Senator Heineken Lukbebri, called for thorough investigation to bring to an end the lingering issues in the petroleum sector. For the 2024 budget, we had estimated and projected 1.78 million barrels per day. We are below that target at the moment. Although production is moving up, I believe, and we have the experts here, but I believe we are at about 1.6 million barrels per day. And we have a commitment that we will be able to reach 2 million barrels per day. And, and that is critical. We are here to clearly commit that we will fully cooperate with this committee. We will supply all relevant information that is needed by this committee so that we can collectively solve the problems. Mr. Chairman, this is one sector that is bedeviled by a lot of misinformation. This is one sector. I've been minister before, between 2015 and 2019. I was minister in Agric. And now I'm minister in Petroleum. This is one sector that has a lot of misinformation. And so I'm very happy that today we have an opportunity to be able to straighten you know, some of those you know, misinformation. Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Mala Melekiari, denied company being involved in importing substandard products. So let me talk, talk step to this, Mr. Chairman. It's a perfect opportunity also. Mr. Chairman, we have done nothing to sabotage any domestic refinery. Any one of them. There are many of them. Some of them are small scale. Mr. Chairman, but there's a law that guides everything we are doing. Mr. Chairman, the law is clear. My colleague from NDPRC is here. There is domestic crude oil supply obligation. Yes, what it is saying is that process it locally, provide for local refinement, absolutely correct. But the law also said that there must be a willing buyer and a willing seller. The Nigerian Navy, Department of Customs and Excise, Independent Marketers Association of Nigeria, Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Agency were among major stakeholders who appeared before the Haddock Committee. Awesome Raffle, ADBN News.